think it's time TV. that we delve into the real royal report. Traffic, please! <laughs> yes, thank you. You're a nut. Lani, <laughs> as the real royal report correspondent, please give us the royal update. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Things are happening over on the other side of the pond. I'm telling you, let me tell you, they had a royal summit. Because, you know, <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan decided they want to get out of Britain. They mm. tired of y'all. They tired of the prejudice. <laughs> they tired out. of y'all talking about their baby. They tired. Mm. So they had a summit. And on the summit, it was face-to-face. -face. It was the Queen. It was Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince Harry. And Meghan was on FaceTime because she in Canada. She said, forget <laughs> this. I ain't, I'm done with y'all, right? Isn't this just a so, family meeting? It was a family <laughs> meeting, but it was an important but it's family an important meeting. meeting. Serious because it was really serious. Queen Elizabeth has released a statement. She says that she gives her blessing for them to work it out, to separate, um, to move along. Um, but it's not a big deal, y'all. It, it can't be like they just go up to the palace where they are and get a U-Haul and move to Canada. Right. No. We have issues. So, it's going to take a matter of days to get those issues cleared away. But they will be moving to Canada and spending half of their time in the UK. Now, the thing is, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, he was on, like, television. He said, yeah, they welcome here, but hold up now. Um, who gonna pay for their security? Exactly. So now... I heard about that. We have those issues. So, he Meghan and Harry want to be financially independent. So, remember when the Lion King went over there to the um, UK and Beyonce and JC met Prince Harry and Meghan? Yeah. Well, right next to Beyonce, I wish we had the picture, was the president of Disney. Um, his name... Oh. What's his name, Rachel? Um, Bob Iger, right? Yeah. Bob Iger was in line. And Harry started pitching uh, Megan to do a voiceover for Disney. And did you she can see just sign a no, deal? No, this is really and cool. She just, she just signed a deal. deal. That's signed really deal. cool. But she's not getting paid for it. The money is going to go to her um, charity. Okay, that's which what is they, nice. It's no, nice. It's not, that's it's technically, nice. she's still doing her royal yeah, duties in that sense. Exactly. And, and I have to say, I mean, personally, I was shooketh when they left. <laughs> <laughs> you was what? I was shooketh. Why were you shooketh? Well, what because was like, was in a way, king, okay? in a way, I, I thought at one point, like, the royal family was going to be modernized. Mm. You know, you have a, a black woman there. They got a black child. You thought child. that would happen overnight? I, I, I did. I wow. was naive. I was naive. Okay, okay. okay. No, okay. But yeah. this is the thing. I get it. It's not about me, you know. It's about them. <laughs> you wanted you that become, fairy tale. I sure did. I wanted to live by fairy tale. Personally like, affected by this. I was. But this is the thing, you know. Yes, people have talked about the royal family for years, mm -hmm. but. It's different when you're talking about race. Mm. It's just a certain yes. type of nastiness. Yes. And if you really take the time and read the stuff that they have yes. said about her child, they, they called her child a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable. And then there was one of her first royal events. Uh, a, a royal family member actually wore a racist brooch. Basically to say in her face, I do not approve. So I got to applaud them. When you become a parent, it's not about you. You think about your family and yes. you think yes. about your kid. Yes. And you want to create a peaceful I don't need to be a princess no in, more. In, in environment. And we also have to remember this. Harry has always been a rogue. He has yes. never truly enjoyed being a part of the royal family. So please don't put this all on yes. Megan. Yes. Well, I think he found wanna, his match. Let well, me share really quick. Go ahead. I, I want to share just a little piece from an opinion piece that was written by Afwa Hirsch. It's called Black Britons Know Why Megan Wants Out. And the New York Times is talking about the racism Megan has faced. It's real. She said from the first headline about her being almost straight out of Compton See? and having exotic DNA, the racist <laughs> treatment of Megan exotic. has been impossible to ignore. Princess Michael of Kent wore an overtly racist brooch, brooch in mm -hmm. the Duchess's company. A BBC host compared the couple's newborn baby to a chimpanzee. Mm -hmm. Then there was the sublimely ludicrous suggestion that Megan's avocado consumption is responsible for mass murder, while her charity cookbook was portrayed as somehow helping terrorists. Yeah. I mean, and that's just content, yeah, the yeah, BuzzFeed did an that. entire thing with the comparison. If you want, check it out. It's insane. There actually, there absolutely is a racial issue yeah. here. That like on one side, they, they praise her yes. holding her baby yes. bump, oh. and then on the other side with Meghan Markle, they're pra they're like, why is she holding her baby? There's a race so issue here, that. and you, you can't get avoid the N word I, in a British accent. It's a different insult. I okay. do have to say, um, Harry and Will did make a joint statement yesterday, saying that they are not beefing, that they I are love still that. family. That's so that's important. good. That's my. Yeah. Yeah.